Team Battle. What's up, everybody? Matchstick back here. Welcome to Fantasy Strike. It's going to be the first time that we are doing this. Uh, so, I know next to nothing. Hey, yeah, we got a we got a side commentator coming in here. Actually, I'm going to promote promote them to main. <laughs> yeah. No, you're good. Oh, you're just muted. That's all. Oh, I'm muted. Oh, I can hear me now. I am not Jushichi or Wish. Nope. I wish I were Jushichi. <laughs> uh, were you in the bracket today? I, yeah, I'm in top four, actually. Hey, good for so you. So I'm, I'm going to get double. <laughs> I got double jeopardy against Rune as soon as, uh, as, soon as this game is, game is done. But yes, everyone, please welcome Tiz. Please Hello. make Tiz feel at home. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. I guess I can. I've missed tournaments so much. Roughly. I guess you're roughly on the right side of the screen there. Yeah, roughly. Something like that. Looks like they're trying to get... Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder why they restarted the game. I don't know. Well, apparently I didn't have enough of the game. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so Sterling's an idiot and does not make local play available to the free version. What? Yeah. And it's okay for me to say that because Sterling isn't who provided our pot bonus. It's uh, the provider of the setup. Oh yeah, tell, tell us about that pop bonus. So we got a $500 pop bonus on a free-to-play game. It's crazy. Like, it's it's absolutely nuts. And because I won a game at all, I get a piece of that. Mm. So, like everybody else who entered uh, got got their money back, got their $10 back. You know, the nice nice thing about a pop bonus with a small bracket is uh, you you get paid regardless. Yeah. Sometimes you just get your money back that you put in. Um, but looks like uh, so the, the 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 format of this game we use team battle because matchups are extremely polarizing in this game. This will be great fun. Um, so <laughs> we so we do cool. team battle for ranked and for tournaments. Oh, okay. So you just pick your team of three. Uh, the way it works is you have to win with all of your characters in order to win the game. Gotcha. So first up, we've got Setsuki versus Jaina. Setsuki's a rush down, and Jaina's a zoner, as you can, I'm sure you can already tell. Uh, depending on, oh, very good air pressure Whoa. from, their news, uh, from, from mean, Mr. Meaningless Name. That was so quick. Yes, this game is pretty quick. Uh, it's it's kind of like, Serlin made this from the perspective that Super Turbo was the best game that's ever been made. Um, so yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure coming from the air here. Uh, so Jaina's DP requires one of her health points. As you can see here, health is in chunks. Mm. Every single hit, uh, there are exceptions, generally do one HP of damage, unless you have Onimaru. Onimaru is one of the privileged few who gets to deal two damage with a lot of his moves, but his are super slow. Uh, so we got Setsuki doing her rush down here in the corner. Not, not a good place to be as Jaina, but Jaina does have enough HP to spend on a few Dragon Hearts if she has to. Great grab there. So the way you break out of grabs in this game mm -hmm. is you press nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that initiates an o a Yomi counter, which deals damage to them instead, whoever initiated the grab. Gotcha. Lizard Man so versus Sophitia. <laughs> Uh, so Valerie is another rushdown character, and Argagarg is another zoner. Valerie is terrifying in the right hand. Gotcha. Oh my goodness, he's an Octoman. Yep. So Argagarg, oh my good, and look how much damage you lose by being wrong once. Wow. So Valerie's probably going to be wanting to use her C special in order to, oh. Nice, good out. read. <laughs> so the C special is projectile invulnerable. So that's going to be a pretty uh, pretty, pretty crucial part of getting in on Argagar here. Sure, sure. Uh, so in this game, if you block an attack whoa, whoa. three times, you lose one HP. If, oh. you, block, if you block a special attack three times, gotcha. you lose three HP. So the sign magenta yellow string uh, has an option at the end of the string. Uh, for the yellow, you can cross up or you can stay right or you can stay in front of them, or you can retreat instead of attacking at all. So right now, looks like there goes my sanity is picking to uh, stand in front right now. Chromatic Orb, the super there has a, a brief moment of a vulnerability. I wish it had more, but Valerie's terrifying oh. enough as it is. 
I'm not in love with that hitbox on that dive kick, but yeah, good uh, on meaningless. Yes. Okay, so oh, there, oh, there was oh. a bit of guard damage that happened just then. Oh, I'm just going to drop Cyan down. before that shield goes active, and Valerie takes that round. So she's going in with full meter. She's going to drop Chromatic Orb on there. I'm not sure why he opted to do that. I guess he wanted to go ahead and get some guard damage on the on the table right away. Gotcha. Oh, Poison Fish. Yes, Poison. So as you can see, that little flask there. Oh, yeah. But if that can... runs out, that health is gone. Oh, can you die from it? You can die from it. Oh, wow, that's actually can, kind of innovative. You can die from the poison. They had the courage. <laughs> right. <laughs> so Argagarg won this one. Yes, he did. So it's, it's two characters who want to... Oh, this is going to be goofy. Rook is obvious. Yeah, he's saying, don't let is, me get is, close. He's is the grappler. Rook, is Rook the grappler? He's the grappler. Round one. So this is going to be real goofy here. He's, he's, he's Earth Groot. So... Uh, the vines that he's doing in the air is projectile invulnerable, but it has kind of like a like a meaty hitbox. Projectiles aren't gonna be like really relevant here. You use vines if you want to have an aerial hitbox there. I see. So the blue glow means that it is armor. Gotcha. Oh, nice. Came in, in with way, the lariat. Oh, didn't it, win the neutral there. When it comes to command grabs, the only way to get out of command grabs in this game is to jump. Gotcha. That's it. Like, Yomi counter does nothing to command Round grabs. Two. Fight. So you'll see this little notification that pops up, jumpable, if uh, if you should have jumped out of the command grab. <laughs> Yo, no time for the Kirby stone here. Hello. So obviously you can see Rook is doing two damage with these command grabs. <laughs> yeah. Rock, Rock Boy hit hard. Rock Boy hit very hard. Fight. And have a lot of HP. Yeah, I was about to say, like, his uh, life bar seems uh, larger than the other two. Oh, yeah. Him and Midori have the largest life totals in the game. Midori means green, children. It sure does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And three damage from that oh. command, from that super, command grab super. It's all just, it's all just super, it's all just, this thing in, yeah, uh, super grabs. And uh, we have player one rook. Ah, uh, he got he got hit there. Yeah, he did. All right, meaningless up two rounds to one. And he's got uh, he's, oh, yo right dead. away. Just walked forward into the command grab. I saw sure. that jumpable you were talking about. Yes. Another thing that's noted is that the hit spark color actually denotes the frame advantage. Oh. Uh, the bigger it is, the more significant that advantage state is. So if it's blue, you're plus. If it's red, you're minus. And if it's red wow. and big, you're punishable. Counter got. Ooh, all right, so that's three for meaningless. And that's it, yeah. And that's it. So that means that I am going to have to leave you all now because I have Me to play with Rune. Yeah, meaningless will be in here to commentate. Uh, so thank you for having me. Thank you, Tiz. All right, folks. Well, that was certainly interesting. I will admit my knowledge and experience with Fantasy Strike is rather uh, minuscule. So it always helps to have an expert in the studio giving us a hand with that. Um, up next is our loser semifinal. Like we said, it is going to be Tiz versus RSG Rune. Loser semifinal. It sounds like we might have a minor delay getting Tiz's opponent in the room. So in the meantime, we'll hand you guys over to the comedy stylings of Meaningless Name and Tiz. <laughs> it's Manzai. Uh. Yep. Yeah. All right, so that was a good good game there. I was uh, explaining some of the game mechanics to viewers there because, yeah, I was actually just in here. So I, I explained some of the game mechanics, the way uh, competitive matches tend to work. So is he, hold on, is he up right now? 
talk again? Uh, okay. Do we cool. explain Yomi counters? Or? Yeah, I did. I did explain okay. Yomi counters. Didn't get a chance even though, to see any of them. Yeah, none of them came up, but I did explain them, and I did explain how they were different from command grabs. A whole lot of jumpable up in that match. Jumpable, jumpable. I mean, that, that rook dittos are very stupid. Yeah. Yeah, they, they seemed goofy. I mean, um, it's like, you know, if you get knocked down and, you're up, and your opponent's not jumping at you, command grab. <laughs> if they try to, to hit, if they try to normal grab you, it, you command grab them. If they try to hit you, you command grab them. Yeah. If they try to, to put a command grab meaty out. You command unless, grab them. You command grab them because you'll be grab invuln longer. <laughs> when Rook gets a knockdown on Rook, he basically has to jump. Oh, or goodness. he's putting himself at disadvantage. Uh, were the the rook uh being the rook who's waking up? No, the rook who got the who just got the knockdown. Who just right. got the advantage from the knockdown, basically has to jump in, that's, or be that's ready funny. to like to, I mean, because the rook on wake up can do a lot of stuff if you don't attack on wake up. Yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, so I was explaining also that we have a five hundred dollar pop bonus for this game. Money, money, money. I'd money, actually, money, money. I'm actually like kind of don't want to talk about it because. I feel like if I, if I try to say that I'm going to win or something like that, that's going to bite me in the ass. I mean, all of us in here are getting paid right now. Everybody who entered the game is getting paid. Thanks to DQs and a huge pop bonus, yes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, Matt, two, two DQs and a massive pop bonus. So, like, huge shout-outs to Senti. Huge shout-outs to, uh, to the Fantasy Strike community. I don't know how many people are watching right now. You know. Uh, about 40. You know, if you've got Thank any, you got any like, regular Toronto top-tier viewers or something, unfortunately, couldn't get it, bring out... Pop bonus couldn't bring out the kind of talent we were hoping for. And, like, I think I think there's still a lot of trepidation for traveling, which is entirely understandable. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, unfortunately, the tournament got announced, and things only got worse from there. Right. Get vaccinated, please. Like, actually, no, not even please. Just get vaccinated. I'm not going to say it nice. Just get vaccinated. All of us here are vaxxed up, and that's why we're playing with each other. We were all masked up, but I mean, you know, we're we're all playing with each other. We all feel safe, and we're having a good time. We're we're at a tournament, man. It's just so good to be at a tournament. Yeah, um, I mean, if I'm sure it's already been mentioned, but we're was it 24 or just 22 games here today? A, lo a lot of games, a lot of freaking games. I mean, uh, Strive had Strive ended up with like 40 something people after all the DQs yeah, were filtered. Smash out. only ended up with like. Half but of not, Smash DQ. Yeah, Smash is that. Well, Ultimate Melee seems to have a pretty good turnout. Right, right, right. right. Uh, under Night was one uh, one of the most most turnout we've had for an Under Night tournament in Columbus in a long time. People were excited. Well, I think Under oh, no, it's only been getting bigger here. I think, and I think a, a, a good reason for that is a uh, bad net code. <laughs> when a game has bad net code, you're itching to get in person not, to yeah, play it again. I'm not sure how many people are in. Uh, Grand Blue, but we had one guy, at least one guy drove down from Michigan to play in an offline Grand Blue event. Yeah, I mean, if you like the game and you want to play it, it the way it's intended to be played, it's it's understandable. And it's also understand, it, it, it's understandable that people are coming out, and it's also understandable that people aren't coming out. I was on the edge of coming myself, uh, but I'm glad I, I signed up and decided to come. Uh, because, you know, like, it's, because I knew, I knew Keist, Keist has never run a bad event, for one. Um, it was just, you know, the, the, the uh, do I feel brave enough to travel? And, like, I signed up in, like, late July, I think. And then it came around, and my car was fixed. I'm like, yes, I can, I can do it. I'm going to do it. So, and I'm really glad I'm, I'm, really glad I'm here. I'm really glad I'm here. This is a... Uh, what else did you enter here? Uh, Guilty Gear Strive. I went 0-2. Um, uh, I'm currently one win in Fantasy Strike. Uh, I'm entering Soul Calibur 6, and I'm entering Tekken 7. All right, I got third in Dive Kick, and I'm mad because I should have got second. Uh, I watched that. It was a, I, I love Dive Kick. I, I was entered into that, but I just did, well, I, it wasn't in the cards for you to make it as early early enough to play it. Dive Kick is sick. I wish we could have got that on stream, but uh, yeah, can't get everything. Do people... like Dive Kick is like so fun to commentate, too, because... You're always talking about such ridiculous nonsense in that game, and it's just so fun to talk about. Let's see, I'm, uh, I also was in Smash, but I didn't make top eight of that. I was in Wave 1, so I got out. Yeah. Uh, BB Tag, let's see, Tekken later, and then we also have a LEGO speed building event. That's not That's very be. interesting. 
obviously not gonna not gonna be seeing that on stream because it's really hard to stream. But somebody's gonna be like there with a cam, right? I'm not sure. In the past, past Cockatoes, we streamed, I think, the Jenga finals. The Jenga finals, nice. I remember that, actually. I remember I was leaving right as Jenga was going on stream from the last one I was here for. Oh, goodness. We've got this nice whiteboard here to, yes. make, to make diagrams about stuff, but we don't really have anything to make diagrams about. Here, hand me that red one. We can diagram how you know, Ohio State's offense is going to smash Akron in a few hours. In a few hours. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Got, oh, right. Uh, the Wi-Fi password over there. Oh, what? that's that's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, if you, if, you need, if you can't, if you're watching this stream, you can't log into this Wi-Fi, so. Oh, you see, uh, when, you, when you're playing with the Rook. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I can talk about, a bit about Rook's Oki, however. So let's say you've got Rook. <laughs> Oh damn! That doesn't look very good. <laughs> so anyway, let's let's say you've got a knockdown. At, here's your opponent. The blue here. looks good. Yeah. Let's say you've got a knockdown as rook. Most characters, you know, strike throw mix up, but because rook has a command grab, it's a three-way mix up, and you have to make a guess of a guess two out of three tran times you're gonna lose. That's why rook's good. I mean, that's what makes rook good. He's bad, but that's what makes him good once he gets a knockdown. So he can nor. So if he normal grabs and off of his command throw, you usually have to stutter step forward a little bit before you can get the normal grab because he's a little too far away. If he normal grabs, you have to beat that by Yomi countering because no, you can't you can't jump because in this game grab grab jump squat can be still grabbed. I mean jump squat can be still grabbed, and you can't block because it's a grab, so you have to Yomi counter it. However, if he command grabs. Which he doesn't have to walk forward at all for because it's kind of a bigger area. St uh, still obviously can't can't block it. So it's sorry. It's command grab. You still can't block it. However, command grab is jumpable. You have to jump to get out of it. And then his third option is an attack. Either he ha he has either a sweep, which only does one damage compared to two damage from the two grabs, but the sweep just knocks you right back down on your ass again, so he can mix you up again. Or he can do a forward kick, which does two damage and does chip damage on block. But if he hits you with it, you're sent away and you're out of the situation. So Rook usually wants to do the small little sweep. Gotcha. That's what, very insightful. We'll see if I can use that knowledge. What Rook also shouldn't do is the I backwards. Play Rook, though. Is the backwards clap because that if they block it, you should have done something else. And if they and if it hits them. Maybe you get two damage. If it hits them out of a jump, you only get one. I didn't it's know that. Well, Ru uh, Rune is playing Super Turbo right now, and this game is basically Super Turbo, so he's practicing this for this game by playing this game. Yeah, we're, uh, we're currently just killing time for Rune to get here from Super Turbo. Can you do BB tag a match or Yes. Okay. Well, I got to go play BB tag. It, it's not going to take very long because it's BB tag. I hope to be back in time for commentary on more of this. All right, let me give this headset back to our stream admin. Shout outs to um, Matchstick Melee for running our stream today. Doing a fantastic job as always. Aww. You do, you do so much work all the damn time. <laughs> I, I don't think that's true. <laughs> uh, this is very relaxing, like, like fighting game music. <laughs> yes, it's just the main menu, like, Lo-fi, lo-fi, uh, lo-fi fantasy strike beats to relax to. Exactly. What's up, Jushichi? Huh? Wait. <laughs> oh, yes, you are Zion. I, I could not. You tell should beat me up for that later. Or not. <laughs> Well, that works. That works out because I'm in top four for Fantasy Strike. Yeah. When was uh, Soul Calibur originally scheduled to start? Five. Five. Ooh. Well, that's that's messy. <laughs> we're, we're past that. Oh no no no. Uh, it's, you're talking about From Under Man, right? No. Because From Under Man left. Okay. Gotcha.
Sweet. Aha. Yeah, sounds Okay, works for me. A round robin Soul Calibur tournament. I'm fine with that. Sounds like uh, as per usual. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of helped seed with the presumption that the nine people that were registered would all show up, and that ended up not being the case. So. Yeah, that's how it go, yeah. Yep. Uh, what is a what is an in person fighting game? Well, actually, no. What is any game, any fighting game tournament without DQs mm. from no shows? Like I entered Windjammers at Vortex Gallery, and two of my oh hello oh that's you that's Sorry. me. There we and, go. And uh, two of my two of my three wins for uh, oh we good? Yes. Okay. Bye well, everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Have fun. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's all get ready for some Fantasy Strike. You've heard a lot about it now. We know there's a ton of money on the line. And we now have Tiz and RSG Rune. I think I recognize Rune from uh, back the old Shoryu Sundays. Used to come down and play all the different types of Street Fighter with us. Yeah, it looks like they're ready to go. See what top four fantasy strike looks like. Know the enemy and yourself. So this is a uh, three v three. Round one. Fight. We got Tizrock and Valerie versus Onimaru on the uh, RC Rune side. Oh, big damage. Two bubs on that one. Yo, another two. Tiz is in trouble here. Gets a couple of nice hits off. Nope. Oh no. <laughs> Unfortunately, whatever Tiz was working on there, no match for the robots. Right. Tiz scoring a couple of good hits early. Oh, down about four to the five bumps on her side, though. Trying to make a comeback, one hit each. Ah. Oh. Taken down by the robots again. Round three. Fight. The way they go about it, they they almost manifest like uh, sentinels. Oh my God! Sentinels, sentinel missiles. That's gonna be game one going to RSG Rune. Pretty handily. Game two. All right, what do we got now? Let's get this over with. Oh, it's a Jaina mirror. Okay. Round one, fight. Oh, all right. Ah, <laughs> delayed effect. No blocking from Tiz. Oh, both of them riding pretty evenly so far. Dive kick into the nice double knee and hits with the big meaty arrow on wake up. Round two. All right, Tiz off to a good start. Oh. All right, that's two out of three blocks. Oh, what do we got? Three? Is that worth three? That's only worth two. That had like a full cinematic. Nice timing on the release of that charged arrow shot. And it looks like Tiz is trying to make a short work of this here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what a come from behind for Rune. Round three. Fight. Okay. Oh, opening salvo. Same on both sides. Careful. All 
away. Good block by Tiz, just has to be careful. Got the dive kick. Oh, nice DP there from Rune. Oh, and that super's not gonna get through. Rune punishing on the recovery. Two rounds to one. Fight. Oh. Couple strong dive kicks here. Tiz responding in kind, evens out those life totals pretty easily. Takes a minor lead. Oh, let it go a little soon. Nice, good air to air, and nails it. All right, Tiz ties it up. Round five, fight. Oh, rain of fire to begin with. Tiz walks forward, avoiding the majority of the damage. Takes a clean amount off and scores. All right. Three to two rounds on that one. Tiz Jada taking wins. game two. Game three. Know the enemy and yourself. Don't let me get close. Hey, thanks. Like what kind of pad? Round oh, no. one. Oh, well, actually, no. I see one right there. Okay. So Rune using Rook right now. Tiz with Onimaru. We saw the damage that Onimaru can do. Oh, wow. All right, Spin Slash has armor. Good to know. Nope, way too far away. Rune with the Kirby. Oh. And an easy punish on the, uh, on the Lariat. Fight. Nope. Oh, got him. A lot of armor on that one, though. Whoa, I thought we were going to have a super clash. So much armor there. Oh, that was jumpable. But you didn't do it. Round three, fight. All right, so even round so far. Rune coming out with the kicks. Yo! Carving him up. Oh. There we go. He's up and away. Big punish. Spin slash with the armor. And nice whiff punish there. Round four. All right, Tiz is on match point. We got Rook Garden. There's the crash. Lost two HP. Hmm. All right. Even on this. Ah, because he was airborne, he doesn't get hit with the follow up. And that uh, super jumpable one more time. Regular SPD doing its job. Oh, up and over. Oh, big cuts. And there it is. Lost the life before you could complete the actual armored motion. So that is going to be Tiz going 2 1 over RSG Rune. Game four. All right. Let's get this over with. But it is first to three. So here we are. Fight. Now, Valerie didn't work out so well for Tiz the first time through. Let's see how she does versus Jaina. Oh my goodness, get back in that corner. All right, a little bit of so position change. And, oh, <laughs> managed to get a side swap. Round two, fight. All right, tis round one. Eats foot dive. Oh, nice catch with the kick. Rune responds in kind. Tiz coming in with the jump in. Unable to punish the uh, the DP, but a nice one, two, three combo, and Tiz is on set point. Trade at the start. Oh my goodness. All right, currently three to two life. Oh, up and over. And that super gets right through. Ooh, baby. Round four. All right, Tiz still set point. Yo, all right. Rune with the, oh no. Valerie essentially has lightning loops. I saw that. All right, we got chromatic. Minus one health for that DP. Here comes the Rain of Arrows. 
Rune trying to catch uh, or trying to get that block. Oh, no cross up there. The DP doing the job. And Rune now has a chance to take it to game five. Right up and over. Nope. Burn a health to do a health. All right. Minor life lead here for Tiz. Oh, getting nailed by the Shinryuken. Two to two now. What's the wake up plan? Oh, chromatic. And follows it up with a throw. That will do it. Tiz moving on to loser's final over RSG Rune. Three to one. Congratulations. All right, I do believe that means it is Meaningless Name versus There Goes My Sanity now. Sorry, not Meaningless Name. Uh, Tiz versus There Goes My Sanity in Loser's Final. And that's going to mean Tiz gets a nice little chunk of change out of this $500 pot. Oh, and it looks like Meaningless Name is returning to the commentary booth. Play BB Tag. Like I said, there's a lot of tournaments happening here yes, today. Yes, there are. So Welcome back, sir. Unfortunately, we had I was probably no commentary last match, but... I, I, I did do what I could. But yeah, tis, the, uh, tis over RSG Rune. T tis beat Rune? Okay. Yep. This is Losers Finals. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see some, uh, hopefully, a exciting match. These two, actually, I'm not sure if these two. Wait, no, Tiz wasn't in my. Uh, well, I just did an online tournament for this uh, over the week. Tiz wasn't in it, but Rune and there goes my sanity were. Well. It would appear they are ready to go. Game one. All got right. Six I got a bit of characters. Yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this three v three format. So there goes my there goes my sanity is way better at Setsuki than the other two than his other two one. characters. Mm -hmm. Fight. And unfortunately, this three v three format incentivizes being good with that. Okay, oh. I guess they were just doing a button check. Ah, we got baited. Incentivizes being good with a, uh, I think, no, they think maybe they forgot to do buttons, <laughs> which is pretty important. Got bait. So, uh, the unfortunately means, you know, if you have a great character you're always going to win with, you only win with them once and you still have to win with the other two characters. Right. Yeah, I saw the, uh, the wrap, uh, basically the recycle, uh, in the Tiz, uh, uh, room yeah. fight there. If you can win with two characters, but your third character is a huge weak link. You're gonna get reverse three would mm -hmm. which sometimes feels really good because, like, if you have trouble against one particular character, they'll beat you, but you can beat your opponent's other characters and still win. But on the other hand, it sometimes you can be stuck feeling like, like you you let a lead go to waste because you had one character you just couldn't clutch it out with. Gotcha. Now this seems like it's going to be a rough fight for Tiz. Oh, I'm surprised to not get two hits over that uh, forward A. Eh? Oh. oh! Oh! Dived right into it. Yep. That's unfortunate. So that that zip from Valerie is very can be very good and can cross up, and it can sometimes be very unclear whether it will cross up. However, the hitbox doesn't activate until Valerie hits the ground, so you can grab her out of it. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good reversal. That's Valerie's really only option out of pressure. Oh, oh. and zip right down into the super. Ooh. Oh, that's rough, buddy. There goes my sanity with the absolutely psychic read there. Yep. That should not have worked, but it did. Nobody home for that. Valerie just gonna keep poking with forward A. Okay. Yeah. Valerie with a not a Invincible whole lot of help right out of, now. The, out of there again. I mean, yeah, basically one hit, she's dead. Oh, but clutch! Rook with one health doesn't matter if he's armoring it; he still dies. Yep. Fight. 
Oh! Okay, get the, that's three damage there. Yeah, that yellow afterwards is not guaranteed. Got the cross up, man. Nice, and punishes. another invincible reversal. Oh, that's got a bigger splash than I originally thought. Oh, that, that hits full, Earthquake hits full screen. It's like, oh. what do you call it? The one that, the move that Potemkin has that just oh, trips from I've, full screen. I just call it the flop. Yeah. <laughs> Landslide is a full screen trip. You have to jump it or you get knocked down. Yep. Or you can use any invincible moves through it as well. All right, so that's game one going to There Goes My Sanity. Now we've got Onimaru versus Lum. So Oni is a character that if Oni walks you into the corner, you're basically dead. Gotcha. Oh, whoa, he throws his children at you. Yeah, Lum <laughs> is the is the Faust. He has many he has many Lums, he has items, he has stuff that restores health, stuff that restores meter. He has fireworks that are like Faust meteors. And he can he can throw bombs, he's Faust. The so Onimaru's thing is normally if you take three hits, you take one chip damage. If you take three hits from Oni, he does two damage because you, the third one becomes unblockable and you still take the hit that hit you as well. Oh, gross. Yes, it's really. That's why Oni can walk you into the corner and kill you because if he's just doing. If you're doing hits that. If he's hitting you and you're blocking it, you're gonna get opened up very quickly. Perfect. All right, well, that's the first perfect on stream. Oh, nice light punish. Oh, that's, the, oh, never mind. It caught him air to air. That was, that, if oh. that was air to ground, it would have been three damage. That's a, okay, just a one damage punish. Yep. That should have been, could have been two. Oh, and Lum walks into his own bomb trying to get the help. <laughs> oh, here is, comes is the fireworks. That, is that RNG or? The bomb. The bomb? No, no yeah. the, the, the results of the super. Yeah, every time. It just does the item throw three times. Oh, uh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh! That super is not invincible. <laughs> Nor does that have instant startup. If you're, if you're standing right next to Lum when he does it, you can just grab him. Game three. It, it wasn't already said. Grabs in this game are universally three frames. They're your fastest option. Gotcha. Okay. So Jaina versus Setsuki. I've seen Jaina. She can sack some life for her Shinryu for yeah, her Shoryukens. Yeah. It will, it, uh, it's important to note that that Shoryuken will not kill her. Gotcha. If she has one life, it will not kill her. She's got However, ma magic time, pixel power. This is the matchup where she should use it a lot because anytime Setsuki does the first hit of Ninja Port, if you can block it, or if she, or even. Hell, even if you get hit, just mash sure you. If, if you actually got hit, it won't come out. But Setsuki does the teleport in. The second hit is usually a mix-up between a hit and a grab, and if you just DP it, you'll hit her every time. Yeah. I gotta say, jaina has got a really strong dive kick. Oh yeah, Jaina's dive kick is really good. Round three. Anyway, like I said, this is, there goes my sanity's best character by far. Mm. This is, uh... I mean, nice. not not you know unbeatable by any means, but this is a uh, he, he knows how to get, convert well off everything. There's the four oh, yeah. damage combo. Ooh, good conversion. Oh no, that's uh, worth two, right? That's two damage. All right, so Tiz on the board. Round four. Fight. If Setsuki, had tried oh, to, if Setsuki had tried to safe jump that, it would have been fine, but instead threw a projectile down and was dead. That's game. Oh. Yeah. All right, so two to one uh, currently for There Goes My Sanity. Setsuki's little uh, float in the air there is extremely dangerous. If she hits you with that, it's a three damage combo. Uh, no way around it. Yeah. She gets to throw a kunai and then mix, and then float in with that, and she's doing it. And she's at least doing two thirds of chip damage for one life, but if she hits you, one. you're taking three damage. It's Ibuki wishes. <laughs> she, if she gets into the air right in front of oh. you, you're, you're just getting mixed. Oh. All right. Bombs. Okay. Now we have... There's some light punishes this is from, a, from Lum. This is an interesting matchup because you'd think Janna wants to zone a lot, but actually... 
you know, Lum, unless he gets super unlucky, is going to get some fantastic pressure with being able to just sit back and throw items a lot. Like, you know, Janna yeah. has to sort of keep pressure on. Otherwise, Lum gets to set up stuff. Like, mini Lums, Janna has to either get really close and kick them or, or send an arrow up into the air to try to hit the mini Lums. No, that doesn't oh. work. That's, she's not Grave. Grave can do, grave can do combos Round into super. The, Janna is not Grave. Okay, that's a good combo. Melon. I uh, can just roll right under those arrows. But yeah, gets the jump in three damage combo. Yeah, that uh, that dive kick to to need an arrow combo seems pretty good. Yeah, it's it's just part of why the dive kick is so good. Not only is it really oppressive on block, you know, if she hits you, you're taking big damage. It's yep. All right, making some space. Oh, uh, many lum coming along. Too many lums. <laughs> No, 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 oh, that, oh, that no. had to be a misinput. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Try. The mini lums remind me of the zombies that, uh, 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 cl not Claire Redfield, um, the RE2 lady throws out in Marvel 2. But that's going to be 3-1. 3-1, there goes my sanity. I'm up yeah. for uh, grand finals. Grand finals, yes, you are. Good luck, sir. Maybe we can get Tiz in here to give commentary for that. Mayhaps. I hope I'm gonna, gonna go play. All right, guys. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, as you've heard, we are now on to grand finals. This will be There Goes My Sanity coming up from Losers versus Meaningless Name on the winner's side. After this one, folks, I believe we'll be sliding into Guilty Gear Strive and then Tekken 7. So hang out, enjoy yourselves. This is a free-to-play game, by the way. Um, you only have the online option um, if you get the base game. Uh, you got to pay for locals, unfortunately. A little bit of a reversal of the usual pattern, but... That's just what it'd be like. So, uh, if you have PS4, PC, shoot, I'm not really certain to the exact extent that uh, what platforms it's available on, but yeah, it would it seem exciting. that in every format, it's 100% free. So, if this uh, excites you, make sure to get out there and grab it. Anyway, let's get on to the fight. All right, so Meaningless has opted for Argagarg. We've seen him doing his little Dalsim shtick earlier. Sanity opting for Noob. Oh, and we got poison. Oh. Meaningless doing a good job not getting melon. One life left on Sanity. Ooh. And we're going to beat out the... No, we're not beating out the melon. Oh, that's rough. Bro, that's Ty Hen. All right, Sanity out guessing Meaningless with the roll in. Got a fish to a stretchy arm and extendo fingers. Oh, gotta watch out for the bomb. Meaningless with the air block. And we got poison, full in effect. Oh, and there it goes, doing the fabled job of actually killing the opponent. Round three. Fight. Meaningless on the board. Round one to round. Yeah, round a piece. Nice counter. Oh. So no poison. Oh no. Oh, Sanity can still take this though. 
Ooh. Nice grab there by Meaningless. Round four. Fight. Surprise! Oh. All right. Sanity taking the first damage from his own uh, bomb. Tacking on the poison. Oh. And we're not going to be able to do any damage there. Oh. Looks like Sanity's in trouble and going down. Game one going to Meaningless Name. So Meaningless Name is the winner side champion. If he takes this uh, best of five set, then uh, he is the grand champion. Don't let me get close. Round one. Fight. All right. Meaningless already doing very good work here against Rook. Setting up a lot of arrow traps. Working on that uh, block three times uh, silo life loss. Oh! And busting out the DP through the uh, grab attempt. Very nice, very nice. All right. Trade there. Coming over top. The arrow's up. Oh, I think that interrupted something. Rain of fire! Nope, not even anywhere close enough to nail that. Sanity going down pretty hard in round two. Fight. All right. Meaningless. Foreseeing the, uh, foreseeing the big damage. Oh, up and over. Ah, get SPD. All right. Vines going over the fireball. Yo, into the Shinra Yukin. Alright, only three more bubs left for Sanity. Two, one. And just couldn't make him hit it again. There it is. Block number three on the same move. Meaningless name, currently 2-0. Game three. Don't let me get close. This will be great fun. <laughs> Round one. Okay, here we are. Bam. Round two. Fight. All right, Earthquake does the job. Got the SPD off. Sets getting a little bit of trouble here. Oh, never mind. Swap that around to Rook. We got two left. Oh, we got her. Oh, that's a dead sanity. Match point now. Meaningless tournament point. Yo. Good clap. Not getting mixed by that. Oh, hello. One more hit. There it is. All right, Sanity on the board. Fight. Things still working out pretty well for Meaningless so far. Gets a two-hit combo. Manages to armor through. Oh, body splash, and that's gonna do it. That's a clean 3-0 victory for Meaningless Name and Grand Finals of Fantasy Strike here at uh, Juni Cockatoo Game Move. Congratulations. Means the uh, the very generous prize pool is uh, going to meaningless name. Now, I don't know if we will have any afterward from our victor, but if we do, uh, we'll put that on real quick and then we'll uh, swap around and get ready for guilty gear. Yep, I don't think we're going to be seeing our uh, our Steam Tournament winner, but that's fine. Uh, we will swap over. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yeah, come back in a little while for, I really hope I'm correcting this, some Guilty Gear Strive. <laughs>